So apparently Xavier Woods doesn't appreciate or like wrestling fans that critique and criticize wrestlers or wrestling shows. Gee, where have we heard this before? Imagine my lack of complete total surprise that another wrestler is complaining about wrestling fans. Imagine my lack of total surprise. But here is, and I'm, I've pulled it up, so I'm going to try and quote the best I can, what Xavier Woods said at a press conference in, I think it was the Philippines, or wherever the hell they're at right now, talking about how it basically blows his mind when fans complain about wrestlers and wrestling shows. Give me a minute here to go through all of this. When people talk about the difference between the organizations, not even organizations, between like NXT and the main roster, so when they say they like, oh man, TakeOver killed it, SummerSlam, this is going to suck. It's on the same company. What is there to complain about? You just got an awesome wrestling show on Saturday night. You just had an awesome wrestling show on Sunday. Then you're going to watch Raw on Monday and SmackDown on Tuesday, then NXT. What are you complaining about? And then, like, you can watch New Japan. You can watch AAA. You can watch so much wrestling from all corners of the world, and it's all awesome, and it's all good. It's all different guys and girls portraying their form of art that they love, that they want to give to you. Sounds like a pickup line he would have used on page. Woods uh, also said being a performer, it hurts to be criticized. When he gives maximum effort, he said, those fans who complain about wrestling come off as entitled fans. So anytime anyone complains about wrestling, it's so annoying to me because they're people that just come off as these entitled infants. Entitled infants. Because in reality, wrestling hurts so bad. And then we're hurting ourselves to entertain the masses. And sometimes the masses want to tell us how much it sucks. You know... Only in professional wrestling, only in professional wrestling, would you have a company, a business, a business model that it seems like one of their fundamental tenets, Xavier Woods, is to criticize their paying customers, you stupid idiot. I could not imagine anywhere else out there in the corporate or business world where you could make such a living off of being so dismissive of your paying customers. Like in the business world, you're taught you have to have your finger on the pulse of what's going on. You have to listen to your customers, hear your customers, think about your customers, factor them into every decision that you make because ultimately without the customer, you are nothing. If you do not have customers, you do not have money. And if you do not have money, or revenue, you stupid idiot, you do not have a business. It's just so easy to understand why it is bad business practice to continue to bash your fans. Now granted, as wrestling fans, we sometimes deserve it, and that is fine. And sometimes we act like petulant, bratty kids. You could dare say entitled infants. And perhaps that is true too. But the real entitled infants, the real petulant, whiny children and brats are now the people in wrestling and the wrestlers themselves. Nobody is quicker to catch feelings when somebody dares to say something bad about them. Nobody is quicker to whine and complain when somebody doesn't absolutely love everything that they do. Nobody is quicker to block somebody on social media than the fucking wrestlers. I remember when the wrestlers used to be real men and real women. Not a bunch of freaking sissies. And what Xavier Woods is talking about is more sissy crap. Part of the problem you alluded to your damn self is there's a show on Saturday night, then there's a show on Sunday night, then there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There's too much of the crap. And you expect people to watch all of it. You wonder why they would complain to say, that's too much wrestling in a row because it freaking is. Too much of a bad thing makes it shit. 
As far as the whole thing about, well, this show is awesome and that show is awesome and everything's great and everything's awesome. Bullshit. That's now where you get to the point where you sound like a sheep towing the company line and you're insulting yourself and your fans' intelligence by spewing that type of diarrhea out of your fucking blowhole. I don't get it. Like if I sat there and got upset about every single criticism I ever got in relationships and family life and the working world here on the internet, here on YouTube, I'd have fucking blown my brains out 15 damn years ago, 10 years ago. Criticism is a part of life. If anything, I would think you would want to hear those critiques and those criticisms. Sometimes they are stupid and sometimes they're completely and totally invalid. And other times there are things that you can use and incorporate to try and gain a better understanding of where you truly are and by God actually try to better yourself and improve. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And sure, sometimes the way people deliver that criticism, deliver that critique, it's not exactly put up in a pretty freaking bow. But let's be real here, Xavier Woods, you are a TV star. You make a good deal of money. At some point in time, you should be able to have thick enough skin to put up with some of that bullshit. Your peers, the same damn thing. Your boss is the same damn thing. If you're making that much money, that should buy you a little bit of backbone and a little bit of toughness. And if you can't handle the heat, then get the hell out of the kitchen. Continuing to blame fans is just trying to pass the buck off to the fans and blame the fans for how bad wrestling really is. Don't blame the customers, blame yourselves. The first thing when you talk about accountability is taking a look in the mirror and admitting you have a problem or you have an issue or you made a mistake or you need to get better. By sitting there and always passing the buck and never taking responsibility or accountability for anything that happens and never truly taking ownership of your own personal growth and development, you know what you are? A woman. Ha, ah, I kid. But what you are is a professional wrestler. And it's crap like this that continues to keep professional wrestling where the hell it is. So yes, fans can act bratty and they can act petulant and they can act like infants. But if anything, they are just a reflection of the current product and talent that is out there. And when people like you, Xavier Woods, act like petulant children and act like entitled infants, you're damn self. Don't you dare criticize me in wrestling. It hurts my feelings. Ah, grow a set. We all know you have a set. You were emptying it all over page all the damn time. Didn't have a problem there. Handle the criticism. Be a man about it. Or at least, if anything else, be a corporate professional about it because you work for a corporation. You are a part of corporate America in a different way, yes, but you are a part of corporate America. You have to be able to accept that feedback, own that feedback, take responsibility for it, and work off of that feedback to improve and better yourselves. And now we've gotten to this point when we talk about the over PC political correctness of the world and so forth, we've crossed over past that and just got to a real sissification in the wrestling bubble. Like everybody's egos are so fragile. Everybody's self esteems are so thin, their skin is wafer thin, and they can't handle anything anybody says bad about them. If it bothers you that badly, then don't pay attention to it. Ignore it. Get the hell off Twitter. Get the hell off the internet. Or be even better, look at it. Don't take it too seriously. But at the same point in time, think of ways that you could get better, improve, and grow at your craft. I have seen you, Xavier Woods, get better and grow and improve over the years. You absolutely have. But part of that had to have come, you would have thought, at being able to understand that you weren't very good, you got better, you worked at it over a period of time, 
But if you never got that feedback and thought at the very beginning when you were wrestling in front of 15, 20 people that you were doing everything perfectly, you wouldn't be in the damn position that you are. But all of a sudden these guys get to WWE and they lose all their damn common sense. Because people like Hunter and Vince can't take the criticism because they don't have the backbones to be able to say, you know what? Maybe we should stop blaming the customers and start blaming their fucking selves and stop blaming everybody else in the damn world except who's really responsible, which is us. Be better than that. Be bigger than that. Be a better man than that. And be a better professional than that. Especially in a professional wrestling environment now that is so wussified and so overly sensitive. Be a man and grow a set, Xavier Woods, and lead the way and show a better example. How the hell do you expect to be as successful as you truly can be if you're never willing to hear that you're not perfect?